In this video I will walk you through the process of classification of satellite image using deep learning with Google Earth Engine. It's going to be a simple artificial neural network or ANN model. I have already created a GitHub repository with all the necessary scripts inside it. Links to all the useful resources are available in video description. Before we begin subscribe to my channel for short and conceptual Google Earth Engine tutorials. First of all I will create a new Google Earth Engine project. This step is optional. You can proceed with default Google Earth Engine project. I will give the project a unique name and its description. Then I will head to Google Cloud Console. There I will select the project that I have created. We need to create a Google Cloud Storage or GCS bucket. I will select the billing method for the project. Please remember that some Google Cloud products like GCS has additional costs associated. If you are using default project you just have to set billing method. Next I will We'll create a Google Cloud Storage Bucket. Please bear in mind that the cloud bucket must be created within the same project. Now that the bucket is there let's understand the process of achieving deep learning with Google Earth Engine and Google Cloud. Look at this flowchart. First of all we will prepare the dataset using Google Earth Engine JavaScript or Python API. Next we will export this dataset to GCS bucket that we created. Then we will be using Google Colab which helps us create Python notebooks and run the scripts within, utilizing processing power of Google servers. So the whole deep learning process will be achieved within Google Cloud ecosystem. Inside Google Colab, we will be using TensorFlow Python library to establish a deep learning ANN model. We will train the model, perform the accuracy assessment and classify the image. Next we will export the classified image back to the Earth Engine assets inside the project that we created and visualize the results. First, I will open script number 1, in which I already filter data. Through this script we will generate training data and then export to Google Cloud Storage. I will not discuss every method and function in detail for that watch my other tutorials. However, I have added comments in the scripts that will help you understand each step and you can ask me through email or in comments. I have filtered an image, then generated training and testing data points. There are a total of four classes. First class must start with label zero and so on. I labeled and normalized and scaled the data that includes data points as well as the image. And then I exported to Google Cloud Storage. We will use export table to cloud storage and export image to cloud storage functions. There I will provide my Google Cloud Storage bucket name. Since we are already in the same project so only cloud storage bucket name is required. If your bucket is inside some other project, make sure to enable Earth Engine Python API on that project and select that project inside Google Earth Engine. We will run the export tasks and wait for the data to be exported. Now that the data is exported to Google Cloud Storage, we will open script number two, which is a Python script. In this script we first import the libraries, call the APIs and do the authentication, and establish connection with Google Cloud Storage. I will open Google Colab, select the NVIDIA GPU hardware acceleration, as TensorFlow library utilizes the power of tensor cores that are available in NVIDIA GPUs only. I will initiate the Google Colab session runtime. Here I will copy paste the script. You can directly import this script from GitHub to Google Colab via the repository link. I will import all the libraries and do the authentication by running each block of code. Once the authentication is done and all paths and variables are properly defined, I will unpack and load the training and testing data. After that we will define our artificial neural network model architecture, and will train the model with the data.
Next we will print the model summary, save it and perform the accuracy assessment with the testing data. After that we will classify the image patches with the model that we trained. After each patch is classified we will stitch them back into a single image and export back to Google Earth Engine. There we will visualize the image. The image has been stitched, and now it is being exported back to Google Earth Engine using Google Cloud command line interface. As you can see that the image is now being imported into Google Earth Engine assets. We will visualize the image. So, that's how one can perform deep learning by using Google Earth Engine. I know you will have a lots of questions. I have not properly calibrated the model, and results are not that good. Classification accuracy depends on a lot of factors, and for the sake of tutorial, I ignored a lot of things. If you have any confusion or questions feel free to ask in comments or by sending an email. If you learned something please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more Google Earth Engine tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Peace.